You guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited because we're gonna go test something out today that I had, it came totally unexpected, found out this company's local and we're gonna bring you guys along. So come on and we'll share. Good morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. So today, <laughs> I'm doing a 48 hour fast. Fingers crossed that the bacon does not get in the way, right? He me because I wanted he to He wanted to, to go to breakfast because, you guys, I am so excited. But first, let's stay keto just for a second. I mean, you could have coffee. Just for a second, yes, I could have coffee. No, Harry, you're not. Anyway, I'm going to share with you. We did morning numbers, so that's going in right here. It's finger pricking time. It's finger pricking time. Yes, it is. Woke up. Have Have you had coffee? No, but I no had, coffee. I did have a sip of something over there. Stevia. Yeah. Okay. You got to quit doing that, dear. You got to get some good numbers. You know, what it is is I wake up and I walk down the hallway and come to the kitchen <laughs> and grab whatever's sitting there and drink it because I'm thirsty. Uh, okay, well, water works, dear. Okay, yeah, what finger is the finger? The middle finger, I think, is the one. No, wait a minute. Is it the middle finger today? I lose track. Do it down, low. Low, low, low. Zero point three zero from that high I had yesterday after exercising. Let's see what the glucose morning effect says today. Four. Oh, you're one up on me. One hundred and sixteen. Not bad for a dawn effect, actually. Really? Look, yeah. Usually I'm high. Have you noticed that when your ketones, ketones are high, are my high, glucose, glucose are high? high? Well, when I'm working out, I do, or when I'm on, uh, when I'm doing my um, fasts. Until I eat bacon. 103. Oh, okay. I'm a, I hover around the same. Yeah. I've noticed. There you go. Okay. See you guys in the next segment. So. As you all know, if you're longtime viewers and if you're brand new to us, we have a fifth wheel trailer called Arvita and we are both retired and we're starting to go out and about more and we want to travel and we want to go look at all the national parks and we want to meet and greet folks along the way. Now, last year, was it last year or two years now? It's been, um, we've had a very busy, very, um, um, busy life this last year, a lot of life changes. And I had purchased a trike, a bicycle, a three-wheeler, and Harry got a bike too, thinking that we would be able to go and ride and do all of these things. And then life happened and we had some major issues and life changes for my mom that we dealt with and, and whatnot. And I really haven't been able to get back into it. Started exercising. We have been doing the exercising. I'm doing Chai Chi, but we're having issues with the bike and stability because of the uh, trike that I purchased does it's it's a little scary for me. It doesn't maneuver like I thought it would and Harry can't ride um, the two-wheeler as well, and he's having issues with his hips. So we've been looking, because so many of you said, look into an electric bike, look into an electric bike. So many of you have them, um, Judy, right? I remember you telling me. So we've been kind of binge-watching binge the electric bikes. We like the fact that you can fold some of the electric bikes up, but there's more and more companies out there that have folding ones, right? So we can put them in Jane. We could buy a rack and put them on the back of our, uh, our Vita. But more importantly, they have trikes. Yes, they do. And more importantly, I was watching one that popped up on my YouTube, you know, channel because we've been watching them. There is a manufacturer here in Phoenix, Arizona with a showroom and they just came out with an electric trike. 
And we watched the guy, and I'm going, boy, that mountain looks familiar. Boy, that trail looks familiar. And the guy's going, I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. And I'm like, wow. And then I thought, I'm going to call their showroom to talk to them a little bit about it. And the number was a 602 number, which is Phoenix. And I'm like, this cannot be happening. And they have a showroom, and they're in Phoenix, and we get to go look at trunks and bikes and all things electric. So I'm very, very excited about this. Um, what would we do with our bikes? We would sell them and, and give somebody else an opportunity to have them. But I want to go look at them. I want to be able to ride them. I want to be able to make sure that's what I want. So this is a perfect opportunity. And because I'm fasting and not eating, I have time to go play with electric bike bicycles today. And I called them and asked them if we could just, you know, film while we're there. Would there be an issue with it? And they said, no, come on down. So you guys, that's where we're going. We're going to go look. Harry goes, I'll buy you one for your birthday, honey. And I thought, you're so sweet. Anyway, you guys, we're going to go look at electric bikes today and we're going to bring you guys along with us because I just think that this is something that would be better more in our um, physical needs that we have and to be able to take them uh, camping with us and, and tootle around the trails and the parks and all of those things and be able to have Sally in a trike that's safe too. So you guys Come along and we'll share. I'll share food that we're, Harry is going to be eating and the things I'm not going to be eating today as well. So you guys, come along with us in the next segment. Hey, you guys, we're at Electric Bikes Company. Electric Bikes Company. You can see their logo up there and I am so excited because I want to look at their new e-trike bike that is a portable foldable bike and we've been watching and been watching and checking out all of the new ones that are out there and this is a great priced trike so we're going to go inside they have a showroom and they're right here in phoenix arizona so you guys come on let's go inside and let's check it out Ooh, it's busy. Nice. Super busy, you guys, but I think that is the new trike go we want to go look at. It does fold, and I want to get the seat. So this is it all folded up and ready to go into a car. And it's got the seat, and it's got the cargo part of this. So that's what we are looking for. And there are a ton of people here. So you guys, we're going to quietly check it out, take a look at it. And they even have a uh, pet. Come look at this, Harry, over here. Oh, there you go. And it looks like it's on a pivot, a spring here. So I don't know if it's like a, what is a sidecar type of a thing, but we would definitely want to get this for a little Sally girl too, because that's important for us. You guys know how we are with the little Sally girl. But there's a bunch of people looking. I can't believe how busy they are. So you guys, we're just going to check it out. We're going to look at these, but I think this big trike that they are showing to all of these people over here are uh, going to be a huge seller. I really do. So anyway, you guys, we'll let you know when we get up to the trike and get to look more about it. So we need to wait. So I'll see you guys in the next segment. Somebody's behind you. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Good. We came to look at this. Very, very important bike. Yes. Yeah, this is our, uh, one of our newest additions. It's actually yeah. about to go out for a little test Do you mind ride? if you get filmed yeah, on no, our YouTube? YouTube channel. That's okay, fine. what's your name? I'm Alex. Alex, I'm Wendy. This is Harry. Wendy and Harry next yep, to you guys. Yep, so we're really excited about this. We've been binge watching and um, yeah. so we want to know a little bit more about it. And yeah. It seems like it's one of the most popular ones in, is, the, yeah. in the showroom. It's drawing quite a crowd. We have one that's folded up. I, that's what we saw. Yeah, but I got this one is kind of our writing unit. Um, right. It's had eyeballs on it all week and everything. Right. So. Right. Yeah. That's just really good. Like we saw that the cargo package you can get for it, the Correct. different seat. 
like the one that's there with the back on it. Yeah. Now, does this little unit for your puppy dog work on this? It does. However, you just need to buy a different sway arm. So okay. The sway arm we have comes out a little too far. Right. Um, there's one that's specially made for the track that mounts that bracket down there, and it's more of a straight out thing. Okay. Because he has a service dog that would go with this, and yeah. she's a chihuahua, so she would fit per. She, yes. She'd be happy in that. I was going to say, it supports a dog of 50 pounds, right? but most chihuahuas are yeah. well under that. Yeah. So. She, she's 10 pounds. She's a little bit yeah, a little bit fluffy, but uh, yeah, so that's exciting. So they're going to take her yes, for a yeah. ride. I think she's about to start in a little test ride. Okay. Uh, so I'm actually going to steal this for a quick second. Okay, no problem. I'll come right back in and give you guys full rundown. Perfect. Thank you so yeah, much. Of course, of course. Anyway, you guys, I'm very excited because he said that this little unit right here, which we would buy, would work for Sally, and it holds up to 50 pounds, so come and check it out. You guys know how important Sally is to us? Is it pretty padded? Um, you can put something it's, in it. It's pretty padded and it floats. It bounces. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's pretty st It's pretty sturdy across the... If, can you stick in, that inside here a minute? So the wheel goes across this, so it's pretty sturdy, but it would bounce a little bit in the front end. Right. But you could put a big thing in there for her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would put a nice piece of foam in there for her. But that's what's nice about this. There's an air zipper here. She would come in and out here. She's got a little uh, screen to keep rocks. That's a pretty thick piece of vinyl right here, or not plastic. What do you call these windows? Yeah. Like a vinyl type vinyl. Of, a, of a top. So, anyway, I'm excited about that because we would get one of those. Now, if you come over here. They have a large basket that we're going to get with it and a front rack. So we actually, we could get groceries. We could pack a lunch. We could do all of those things. They even, uh, the bike where it's folded up has a ice chest part to it too. So I'm very excited. Um, Phoenix allows Electra bikes all over the city and we have a canal right by our house that you can actually ride on. And the way the grid is, you can even ride them on the sidewalks, which is nice too. So I'm excited that we actually get to try them out here because I'm very timid about getting something I haven't ridden now that I bought my Schwinn that kind of when you try to turn a corner with it, it raises up. So I'm really concerned about those, the tri wheels, the two wheels in the well, back. Well, it's got a really high to center make of gravity sure. it on does. the bike. So. It does. So I'm very excited, but kind of pan through and look at all the electric bikes they have here today. Yeah, they got quite a few. They have a support center here too, which is really, really yeah, nice. Yeah, look behind you. Yeah, I know. I was looking. They have their whole room where people are talking they have a sales room support center and everything else so I'm very I mean, excited about deep, this it, you guys it's, it's, that's yeah. big in there yeah I'm very very excited about this but you can get all kinds of different things for it. you can get the saddle bags you can get um, use these like if you were a pizza delivery person the bikes out front have the pizza um, heated containers you know thermal containers for it Good. they've got all kinds of things so I am very excited um, to see this work. So I'm going to kind of look out the window at these people and watch them ride the bike. So we'll come back in the next segment, you guys. So you guys, look at this one. If you have kids, look how heavy duty this is built too. It's very sturdy. Got little foot holders for them and everything. So these, you must be able to buy, well, it's got a longer seat. So they have attachments that you can either put a seat back here for somebody to sit on back here, or you've got this. And look at the safety speed features. They're in a little cage. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. We should go out and look at them ride the bikes, Harry. Let's. My name is Lexi. Lexi. I love that name. So this is the new trike, pre-order time. I'm excited. So tell us a little bit about this. 
Yeah, so this strike um, is great. It's one of the first ones that we've rolled out with. We've been getting this request a lot from our customers ever since we started the company, <coughs> um, especially with our customer base. Oh, <coughs> it's really great. Um, it's very small, especially from a lot of the trikes that you see in the market. You see right. a lot of trikes that are like over 80 to 100 pounds. This, this guy is about 69 pounds. You have the battery that sits on the back, which is really easy to take out and access um, versus like our other bikes where you do have to fold it in half to get the battery out. You don't really have to do that anymore. Oh, good. Um, the wheelbase is really short too. It's about 30.8, 31 inches. Does it turn easier without coming off of its... I know with my my regular oh, yeah. <laughs> Schwinn trike, mm -hmm. when you turn it, you have to be careful because it does raise up and that's a little scary. You oh, know? Okay. Does this do well in a turning radius? It does. Um, we in the showroom are reckless. <laughs> so we've tried to tip this thing with everything that we could. And yeah. it takes a lot of actually like recklessly riding it to All do good. it. So even if you're just turning from a really sharp point, mm -hmm. you should be okay. Um, it is a trike, so it doesn't like uh, work like a regular bike. Right. So no leaning into your turns. You kind of have to lean against them. Right. Um, but it is really great. It's really supportive. It's really stable. We modeled, well, we used the XP Lite to model the trike. Okay. Um, and then we also made the step through very low. So right. People can I love that. Because we Me have too. hip replacements, both of us do. Oh, so having a, an easy step through so I'm not climbing over a bar, yeah. you know, to get on and off the bike. Or if you get into trouble, you can get, you know, you're closer to the ground with your legs, right, that you can get off. So I like that. Yeah. So this is, comes equipped like this, but I noticed online now you can get the, you get the free um, baskets that go in front, cargo, is mm -hmm. that what they call it? And yeah. then I saw the other seat with a little bit of support um, mm -hmm. on it. How yeah, much that does that skinny. seat hold or work? Too. Yeah, so uh, the support seat is $39 more to That's Anthro One. That's all? I believe the, the ca carrying capacity for the trike is about three to 400 pounds. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot. That's mm -hmm. a lot. That's nice. So um, can Harry give it a spin? Can you explain how the speed controls and all those things work? Yeah, of course. So it's really easy to use and utilize. Um, we kind of kept everything the exact same that we had on our other bikes. Um, same thing with this guy. So to turn the bike on, you'll just press this power button down for three seconds. Okay. So you want to go ahead and give that a try. Right here? Mm-hmm. Press it down for three seconds. Yep. And then now your display powers on. On the display, you do have your energy bar, your speedometer, your odometer, and pedal assist, um, which is the assist that's going to help you pedal. Um, and then on your right hand side, you have your throttle. Does so it go forward or back? Uh, it goes it like towards yourself. Towards yourself. Towards your motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Um, so you'll pull then... towards yourself while you ride if you want to accelerate in speed. And then you have your hydraulic brakes. Um, left will be your front brake and then right is going to be your rear brake. Okay. They're really easy to maintenance and maintain versus like the mechanical brakes. Right. Um, you we don't saw really... that on the, on the uh, review that we watched. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, so that's good to know. Yeah, it's super, super great. And um, it also has equipped with two, like 20 by 2.6 inch tires. Okay. Um, we just found that the lighter the tire was a lot better and easier to support for the frame. Okay. It also makes the bike a lot lighter. Um, it's about 69 pounds. Um, and now we're equipping every trike with a long range battery, which will get you like 60 miles on a single charge. Which is nice mm -hmm. out here in the desert. If you're out in the middle of nowhere and something happens, at least you have, we we plan on having our bikes so we could at least bike out if we had to. You yeah. know? Now, I've seen some things about people getting batteries stolen. Is there a way to mm -hmm. lock your bike and battery when you leave? Um, you know, is there a, mm -hmm. some kind of a lock mechanism? that will keep it from being stolen as easy? Or is that still an issue with e-bikes? That's still something that we're trying to work with, especially now that we have the battery exposed. Right. Um, my biggest tip is just to take the battery with you okay. because you don't need the keys to use the bike. As okay. you can see, the bike is still on. Right. Like our other, like our 3.0 bike, you do need the key to use that. Um, the easiest thing, the best thing that I recommend is just take the battery with you. You'll just twist it and then you'll just pull oh, it up. Oh, wow. Oh, wow Super easy. Wow. It's a little heavy, it's seven pounds, but you just throw it in your backpack and. Right, get a backpack just for that so when we're around town. And that's another thing, you know, when you're at an RV park where we would park it and try to go into town, mm -hmm. we could ride our bikes into a town 
and and not have to worry so much. We'd have to find out yeah. what their rules are for electric bikes, of course, depending on the state we're in or the all the parks, national parks and stuff. But I'm very excited. Now show me how to put it back on. So all you'll do is you will kind of tilt it at an angle and then you'll slide it in just like that. And then um, what, this is a product or like a pre-production. So mm -hmm. basically what you'll have to do is just kind of slide it and then lock it into place. Okay, and, and then, then it's in. That is in. You don't have and to leave the key on there. You can take them off and put them away. Okay. Um, but I do recommend at least taking the battery with you. Oh yeah, and that makes sense. And then I, everything's hooked up, it's showing. Awesome, yeah. that's perfect. Perfect. Want to take it for a spin, yeah. Harry, to yeah. see? Yeah. All okay. right. Let's go ahead and do it. There we go. Okay. There we go. Wait for all these people that are kind of in the way, Harry. Yeah, I have. <laughs> you might have to adjust your seat. Yeah, that's pretty tall. Up to three miles per hour. And then for the plus and minus, you need a horn. Beep beep. <laughs> It will yeah. off after 10 minutes if you don't touch anything. Um, but yeah, if you want to turn it off, just put it back down. You're supposed to pedal too, so you get some exercise, young man. How do you like it? Why? Why? Um, you could lose it really easily. If you're, if you're on an incline like this, yeah. and you, if the bike wants to go that way, and you feel like you want to go off of That's it. That's what I did with my trike. So, you get, you're going to have to go slow. But do you think I'll be good at it or not? I, Maybe it's some practice. You just got to know, use this brake, not this brake. This is the back brake. Remember where your brakes are. Yes. Try your brake out. It's a little squirrely. Is yeah. it my seat is too tall? Could be. Now they said to be able to do the seat, you have to Now you pull out on that. Let me do it. Mm -hmm. Pull out. Let me see if I like that better. So what you want to do is go back up here, turn around, and try a two. Don't, oh, you don't need to go on the street right now. I don't want to do a two. Well, you got to see what? what it's like. That's the whole idea of these things, right? What do you think? I don't know if I like it. Yeah, I told you. You, probably, you need to try it out. The problem is it's too easy to... Try a two-wheeler? Sure, I'll try a two-wheeler. I feel this thing, just every little rock pulls you. No, well, it's a bike, honey. I know. I don't know. It's not a car. It's a bike. Let's take it in. Was somebody going to ride this one, or? Don't worry about it. Okay, you guys.
guys, I had to give up the trike to the next group of people that want to ride it. This is a very popular bike. It was scary for me, I'm going to be honest. Um, just catching one little rock and it pulls you way to the left and to the right. I took it onto the street just to see about the turning and I just feel it's scarier to me than my Schwinn, my Schwinn stationary bike. I think I need to get on the Schwinn and just start riding it and get used to it and see what I can and can't do with it before I go and leap into something that is motorized and accidentally be going too fast and fall. So. Um, we'll talk more about it when we get home, you guys, but I'm going to close out this segment and we'll see you guys in the next one. Look what light, Harry got. Your light is not attached to your speed gearing. Okay. Because it's now attached to the basket. I got a seat and handlebars, folks. I'm very excited. Let me go over here and we are getting this for Sally, which is on its way. So we're getting Sally a ride to it too. But we're not getting the tri trike. We're getting this one. How low should it go before you charge it? Because I've heard you have to let it drain some yeah, to charge. So there's not really a specific way that you have to let it work. Okay. Um, but you, the only thing is just don't let it drop to zero. Don't okay. let it get all the way down here. If okay. it gets like 50%, you'll notice the bike is not performing as well as it normally does. So then it'll drop down, just recharge it at like 50%. That's what I normally do. Look folks, I got the sissy seat. I'm very excited. <laughs> All right, I think that's all we need. Now you got to figure out if you, you can do it, away. put it, how he can come out and watch you put it uh, in the back. Yeah, walk me through that one more yeah, time. Totally. Yeah. Go ahead. You don't mind being on our YouTube channel tonight, do you? No, that's totally fine. Good. So you did this first. I did handlebars first, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's tricky, isn't it? Okay. Lay this down here. That's all you gotta do, right? Yep. Now. Pedals. Now I go to the back. Yeah. And I put the kitchen in that. Nice. Okay. Yep. And then I would do the pedals. Yep. Pinch them. Uh, pinch from the arm of the metal. Yeah. And you put this down here. All the way. Like that, yeah. Right? There yep. you go. Perfect. Punch the other one or not? No, the other one's fine because you're just going this Okay, way. Yeah. good. Now, this part. It's the same deal, right? Gonna, yep, it's going to be a little bit stiff because it's a brand new bike. Yeah, and you just bring it around, right? Yeah. What's the best way to do this? I guess just yeah. grab the middle. Okay. And then do you want my help, Harry, to get it up into the car? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I'm going to have you film. Yeah, totally. Put that in your pocket, dear. And I'll grab the two tires and you grab the Well, other. like you, you showed, you said, dude, like that. Let's draw it. Okay, draw it. Just like this. Yep, try to put it above your knee. Above so your lift knee. it all the way up to like up your. Uh, A new bike white lightning yes indeed <laughs> well harry harry got a new bike wendy well, did not care for the trike and neither did harry no, tell, tell me like the, the difference way. i didn't like the way it, there was no stability and the thing about a trike is you really can't control it as well as you can a regular bike because you can lean and you know get control with that if you lean the bike will fall over <laughs> plus every little it. rock it seemed like it grabbed. Plus, I got a sissy bike and I got a seat and sissy handlebar. Bike, you got a sissy sissy bar. seat, sissy seat and bar. Yeah, it's got little handles. Yep, and I can learn how to ride this, and then we can come and buy me one. Right. So, yeah. you guys, 
pleasantly surprised that we didn't get what we wanted, what we thought we wanted, but we got what we wanted instead. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. Wendy totally gave up after she didn't like the bike. Let's go home. And you said, well, let I me said, try, no, let's try the other let's one. Let's try the other one and see how it is because it's going to be probably like a bike. And it turned out to be just like a regular bike with a motor on it. So, so you, really you have like all it. control. You have total control. The guys will know what I get. A lot of guys grew up with their bikes before they got a car, you know. So, so did girls, you know. but I'm just a chicken. So I got the sissy bike and I got the sissy seat with my own little handlebars until I learn how to ride this thing. So, and Sally's going to have the little pull along that's coming. Um, her ride's coming in the mail. So, right. And that's going to be very interesting. Yes, it is. All I'm going to, going down the street, all we're going to hear is. Hey! Well, we'll see. Anyway, you guys, we'll see you guys in the next segment. There it is. Yeah, see, it just folds up in here. It's kind of cool. Here's your knee. Try not to break the wallet. Okay. There goes the leg. Can you pull it so I can see? Here, I'll back up. There it is. Pedal. Okay. Wow. That's that it. was quick. Yeah, it is. Make quick. sure the seat is as high see, or as low as you need. Right. Just right here. I got my sissy bars. Yeah, that's about right. You need to be closer to the bike before you get on it. Is it too high for you? Yeah. Huh? Uh-huh. It's a little high. Yeah, but the problem is when you want to pedal, because these pedals are very far up. Yeah. Try riding it like a regular bike. Well, take the, take the, um... Look, kick the kickstand up. You want me to do it? Here, I'll no, do it. I want to do it. Okay. Kickstand. Well, she's got that down. Okay, it's, make sure it's not turned on. It's not turned on. Okay, I'll just ride it like a regular bike. I don't know if I can or not. Sure you can. It's been a while, I know. See? Can you do it? Yeah, the pedals are in an odd spot. That's what I said. They're, they're a little back because the thing folds up. I like this much better than the trike. Oh, yeah. I think it's much easier. What? This? What is the um, oh pressure? That's the deal. This. What was this on? So it's supposed one. to be one. Okay, yeah. you're going to turn it on. Mm -hmm. Pedal assist and all that stuff. I'm just going to put it on one. Make sure the seat is high, See? not too high for you. Okay. That's fine. He's a happy camper. Oh, that's nice, huh? Yeah. I have to learn how to use the electric part, but it's nice. Yeah, works great. Let me go, electric. Go down yeah, go down. You hear the dog? Yep. She's barking at you. Watch out for those puppies. Don't get in the middle of a dog fight. Hi, kiddo. So much better than the trike, huh? Oh, yeah. I yeah. saw you do a tight turn. Yeah, so much, much better. Be this is much better than the trike. Yeah. You guys, Harry got white lightning, who is an electric e-bike. He loves it. I love it because it's got a sissy seat in the back with little handles. I can put my feet there. I've got to learn how to ride a two-wheeler, you guys. I'm telling you the difference between a trike and a bike. 
100 percent like better day. maneuverability on a bicycle than you can on a trike and i think that's what's scaring me about my tricycle which i'm probably going to sell i'm going to start riding the beach bike we got for harry learn on it get comfortable with it and then switch to an e-bike you guys that bike we got a hundred dollars off of it because we bought the floor model got to bring it home with us so i'm super excited plus he was a veterans and he got a veterans discount on top of that so um we love the bike and the nice thing about it is in case of emergency when we're out and about we have a bicycle that we all are going to be able to fit in because we got the what was it called the um, wag 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 wag, wag the pet wagon that attaches that we pull behind for little sally that's on its way and so is harry's helmet but you guys so far, Harry's loving it, and it has much better uh, mobility. And you I guys were right. It. We should have tried the e-bikes, but maybe I wasn't ready for it yet. But very excited about it because it folds up. But and Wendy did learn one thing, that she is not a trike person. I am not a trike person at all. At all. Nope. I'm not. She rides this bike much better. I had her do it as a pedal bike because you can pedal it. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm just more balanced, just it, it turns better, I just feel more comfortable on it. So I'm gonna learn, baby steps, baby steps, and I'll be selling my tricycle. Yes, I will, so. Anyway, you guys, that's it for today. We spent all day there. It's after five, so we spent all day there. We were able to bring it home, we were able to pack it up, put it in the back of Jane, and she'll fit in the back of the truck. She'll fit under the cab, hopefully, of our Vita, but either way, we've got an e-bike now. In case of emergency, we can drive that thing. You know, pile everybody on it and go. Yes, indeed, or Harry can just enjoy it. And I'll be getting one well, it's soon. Got a, it's got a seven. It's got a 750, 750 50 watt uh, motor, so motor, it, yeah. it does pretty good. It's got, it does it's very got a lot good. of pulling power. So, Yeah, and it holds over 400 pounds, right. so we're good to go. So anyway, you guys, thank you for coming along with us. It's not exactly keto, but this is a day in our life, you guys. Thank you for vlogging with us. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring the little bell, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you right here tomorrow. Sally's coming to say goodbye. I heard and we'll share her when she gets her little ride along wagon, huh, Sally? Yeah. You gonna say goodnight? <coughs> say goodnight. <coughs> no. That's not a good night. That's not a good night. Yeah, there you go. Good girl. Good girl. Can't wait to get see how you do in your little wag along. Oh, yeah, she's going to be screaming. And the time. wag along? No, I think she'll be okay if we walk her with it, put her in it, and walk it like a buggy. There you go. Good night, everyone.